uh, I pulled this picture from Desmos, the Desmos Online Graphing Calculator. Uh, I've graphed in red the implicitly defined function x to the two thirds plus y to the two thirds equals four. That's the curve that appears in red. I plotted the point negative three radical three comma one. And if you substitute these values in for X and Y, you'll see you do get a true statement. So indeed that point is on the graph of the uh, relation between X and Y. The question is, where did I get this? This is the slope of this line. And down here, I have created the equation of that line by using point slope formula. Y minus Y sub 1 equals slope times X minus X sub 1. Question is, where did this M come, come from? And that's where we use implicit differentiation to solve for Y prime. Okay, so let's talk through this. Remember when you're uh, implicitly differentiating to find y prime or the derivative of y with respect to x. We assume that y is a function of x. We just don't know what it looks like. <clears throat> so when you're taking the derivative of y uh, implicitly, you have to apply the chain rule and multiply by y prime, the derivative of the inside. So According to the power rule, the derivative of x to the two-thirds is two-thirds x to the minus one-third plus two-thirds y to the minus one-third times y prime chain rule equals the derivative four is zero. Now I want to isolate the y prime so that I have a formula for slopes of tangent lines to the original uh, function, well, relation. Uh, I divide it through by two-thirds just to make the calculations a little bit easier, I still want to get this y prime by itself. So I, at once I've done that, I subtract or move this x to the minus one third to the other side of the equal sign by subtracting it. And then I divide both sides by y to the minus one third. Um, <clears throat> uh, and then I realize that both the x and the y are raised to the same power, so I can write it this way. And finally, if I want to make the exponent positive, I just take the reciprocal of x over y and write it as y over x. So there's our formula right there. And so I'm plugging in to get the slope. For y, I'm plugging in a 1, because that's the point that we're, we're writing the equation of the tangent line. And for x, I plug in negative 3 radical 3. And I raise that whole thing to the 1 third power. And of course, I could have simplified this, making these pluses. And I could have rationalized by multiplying top and bottom by the square root of 3. And that will get radical 3 over 9, I guess but still raised to the one-third power. Either way, you get a decimal approximation. And after applying uh, or writing the equation of the tangent line, you can see that looks like it really is the tangent line. Um, I'm going to, when I finish up the answer here, I'm going to supply the URL to this Desmos graph in case you want to take a look. So there you go.